Are you the only one here, my child? Yes, bird, I am. The Nameless is quite the diplomat. Our secrets have spread like wildfire within the family. And IPC starships are gathering towards Astana. This is a crucial moment for us. So, where is the chosen one who... Robin? <gasps> the There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Is he like, we're going to sacrifice Robin? What There's do you mean, no Master? way. I'm right here in front of you, aren't I? You know, she was supposed to be the star of the Charmony Festival in our plan. But the plan has changed. It'd As be interesting brother. if they added a whole new path, like, outside the swarm. Yeah, no, I think that would be super cool order. also. I mean, again, we're so only, like, one year place. into the game, so maybe that'll happen eventually. Hmm. You've always been wise beyond your years. I'm sure you understand the consequences of your choice. If you consider this a betrayal, well, there can't be two suns in the sky. I'll step up and take down the other sun if necessary. Do you believe in karma? <laughs> if karma exists, then everyone has their own karma. You have yours, and I have mine. And my karma has nothing to do with you. Mr. Mr. Gopher Word. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Since you're willing to sacrifice yourself for her, I'll grant your I'll wish. Grant oh. your wish. So, so well, Gopher Word wanted to came sooner than sacrifice expected. Robin. Why? But then Sunday you loves and Robin enough twins of the to take her place instead? One of you is destined to follow this path to the end. <sighs> is this is part of your plan? This part of your plan. Of course. You're still as clever as you were when you were a child. The opening is near. Go, my child. Seize the power of the harmony and reveal your karma. I have one final question, Master. Why did you choose to bring the Order to Penacony? Wouldn't it have been better to choose a desperate world instead of a city filled with hope and dreams? Why? It's for justice, my child. For justice? If we lose justice Who's in here? our hearts, Hello. we'll make the same mistake as the harmony did. So, it's not you who manipulates the dreamscape with the Stellaron, but... Well, that's where our conversation ends. Go ahead. The 107,336 souls of the Oak family have dreamed of this moment, too. That's actually crazy. I I don't know. I'd like, I again. I think I said this the last time we played through the story, and I was like, I always thought the family would be like a. Oh my God! The bird is dead. Ah! I always thought the family would just be like a government organization, but it, it's instead it's like a hive mind kind of thing, and it freaks me out a little bit. Ah! The bird died. The scorching sun. Bathed in my oh light, my god, there's a my lot of dead birds! Flourish, while all evil shall be eradicated. What is happening? Why are there so many birds? Two hours. This Same is location. The interior of the Penacony Grand Theater. Oh, it's quite exhilarating to be flushed into the air by Soul Glad. But why is the venue still closed when the Charmony Festival is about to start? Because we're about to and not get into that, it, I guess. The entire theater is eerily quiet. Yeah, no staff, no, no audience, audience, no one around. No staff. Are we late? Looks like the Charmony Festival was a flop at the box office. Gosh, some of these Even answers are really late, funny. A grand theater like this shouldn't be completely empty. 
Let's explore around. Be careful, everyone. Be careful. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. I like how you can claim that chest, but like when you move in front of him, he sees you? I don't know, it's whatever. Oh, I've never fought against this guy. Again. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill fate descend. Too easy. Too easy. As if victory were ever in doubt. Too easy. Um, this is a dead end. I'm assuming this is also nothing. <laughs> I hear little bird, I just don't see little bird. Gosh, the atmosphere here is so creepy and unsettling. Even if there's no audience yet, there should be some staff around. Why is it so silent? This is oh, so we have to go this way, so it's not actually straight. Okay. Same. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. This is the fact that I hit pity on this is bullshit. Feeling lucky. Make a wish. I don't know if any of this is actually gonna matter, but whatever. Let us be cautious. Um, you know. Are these things going to hurt us? I don't think so. I don't think they're enemies. Oh my god, I'm stressed. Stressed! Little bird, I see little bird. Oh, there's another one? Stop, come back here. The seed sowing bird. I need someone to like... Like, too long didn't read all of the birds, because I, I skip through the birds, because I just don't care. I mean, like, I care, and I want to know, which is why I want the too long didn't read. Um, you know. I'm gonna do this later, I guess. I hope we can come back here, at least, to do that chest. How do I get back there? Hello? Where do we go? <sighs> Yikes! They scared the life out of me! Uh, why are there so many puppets at the ticket office? Um, they won't start settling move. Yeah, I'm just, I'm mar mar March behind you? What? Uh, You're <laughs> so scaring me! Damn! Are these puppets part of the stage setup? Even so, it's so eerie that the entire front hall is empty. Damn, whoever writes this is 10 out of 10, honestly. How do you get back here? I gotta swear there was something to the front desk. The reception office is, is, is eerie. Like, like, I'm supposed to hit that, obviously. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's, let's head back in this direction, I guess. Right? There's no other grand theater in the dreamscape. Uh, so Sunday's messing with us? He said we'd have a final showdown on the stage, but why is there no one here? My apologies for the delay, March 7th. <sighs> you scared me! Where are you now? I'm waiting for you behind the curtain. Following the Asdana tradition, I invite you to enjoy a stage play in three acts before the festival begins. Excuse me, three acts? History is a mirror reflecting the universe's true essence. 
Let's use this opportunity to delve into the rich history of Penacony and the eons. Within it, naturally, the future takes shape. Let us commence with the dawning of the world. After the Dusk Wars, darkness veiled the sky, and chaos consumed the earth. Uh. Anna, the Order emerged, destined to restore all existence. That marked the first day. <laughs> Sometimes they like to yap, so I just, I don't know, I just RP walk at that point. We about to... This is... There's a lot happening right here. This is crazy. This looks crazy. They gathered nebulae and forged them into picks, thus creating a grand lyre with black and white keys. Strike the white keys and the sun rose. Strike the black keys and the moon rose. And so, the cycle of day and night arose. That marked the second day. I'm gonna see if I can get around these enemies without like disturbing them. Mm, it doesn't seem like we can get this way without doing a fight. Puppets are gathering around the frame. Are they expecting us to enter it? We'll come back here later in uh, Overworld Farm with Akron or whatever. Stage play, Act One. Where are we now? Oh no, not another the atmosphere maze. Here. Looks similar to Sunday's inner world. Perhaps this so-called stage play is created with his abilities. This act is named Ode to Prisoner. Given the atmosphere here, I believe it's about Pentagoni's past. I thought things were finally looking up as I managed to dodge prison during my recent trailblazing expeditions. But now it looks like I'll be back behind bars again. Same, same, honestly. I genuinely wish to avoid a violent clash with my esteemed guests from afar. Therefore, I've arranged three acts before the situation Look at the people, like, punching each other over there in that, like, red thing. Where shall we start our narrative? Well, let's start with the time when Penacony was still a frontier prison. <laughs> Little bird, adventure bird. Stream four. A gleam of old blades. That's busted chat. I think I think, you know, I think using Agron is cheating, kind of. <laughs> Agron is cheating. Stream four. A gleam of old blades. We already know this is this is to make the walls go weird and whatnot. Not cheating, it's efficient. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right, it is definitely efficient. It is definitely efficient. I, I'm sure you saved so much time using Acheron. Like you just have to have a million trick snacks, unfortunately. In 2147 AE, a prisoner named Hanun ignited a struggle for liberty and emerged triumphant. IPC referred to it as the War of the Frontier, while the Asdanians dubbed it the War of Independence. Move, move it, move it, buddy. The fact it works in Simu is very broken. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that also. Where did it go? We 
Wow, thanks for the brain. It's true that Hanunu was a legendary hero. But it must be acknowledged that while he bestowed freedom upon it the hides prisoners... Hides in millions of trick snacks, me, honestly. I have so many tri trick snacks also. Wow, thanks for the raid. The gravy raid. <laughs> ba 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 The three However, nameless stayed on the planet, endeavoring to spread the tenets of trailblaze throughout the frontier prison. Are you enjoying it? I'm sure as if anything. I'm, I'm, I am enjoying it, but I'm also like, damn, there's a lot happening. I nearly cried when we had to sit down in the chair, like when when Misha sat down in the chair where like Michaela was. But then they like cut immediately to another scene and I was just like, okay, well, I guess I guess no crying yet, but I I'm emotional, dare I say. Stream four. I was stressed and anxious the entire time. That's how I feel too. Uh, but glad. I hope your stream was good. I hope it was worth it. Um, I don't know where to go next, chat. I think it, it says here, right? But I want to go get that chest. But I also just want to. I want to get to the the main That's fight. <laughs> Once he again, was good. No shiny. Was engulfed oh. in war. And Hopefully this next time. The enemies originating from within. The prisoners remained prisoners for the rest of their lives. Yeah, fighting the, for freedom. I can't believe the mods are story skippers. I don't think Maki is a story skipper, but I I'm pretty sure everyone else is a story skipper. But it's fine because you all have to watch me play. <laughs> Can I fight this guy? I hope you like this land Story freedom. skipping in this household, shake my head, earth. yeah. As you can see, their sentences have long ended. This is a really cool enemy. And the cool, IPC uh, guards have enemy. long been expelled. Yet, these prisoners remain enslaved. Not by external forces, but by the confines of their own minds. Freedom permeates every corner. Except fragile souls. It gives solace only to those who believe in its existence. Prisoners, this is my order. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. Oh no, we can't skip it. Hey, it's, fine. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Spend freely. Free will, or was it bust? Or maybe, maybe I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad playing with the really like OP team. I don't know. Stand still. Oh, like, like, look at that, like. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Relax. Head your bets. Huh? Still waters of oblivion. Agron is very busted. I think Adventuring is pretty no busted also. You, you are free. Like, I have E1, S1, Agron, and Adventuring. It's definitely, like, very, very Amidst busted on my side. War. The frontier prison headed toward becoming land of the exiles. This must be how Panacone was constructed. With the aid of outsiders, the prisoners were finally liberated and established the land of the exiles. However, it appears that Sunday aims to convey the spirit. I went with E4 Agron. What? Aspects of That's crazy. <laughs> This show is a bit too literary. I, I don't have any other character the that's like a higher E understand. than like anyway, uh, the blonde the kid. The blonde go. kid who is Yang Yang Chin or whatever. I, I have like what E3, I think. Not by my own wanting, you know, he just likes to show up a lot. Um, I did pull for Robin and I got, um, and I got Japard instead of Robin, so. That was, that was kind of crazy. 
Um, so we have guaranteed Firefly, I guess, or Boot Hill if we're gonna go for Boot Hill, but I'll probably wait for Firefly. Um, and then I'm trying to get Topaz's light cone, because I have Topaz, but I don't have her light okay. cone. Where are they guiding us this time? They transmuted streams of That is true. I feel nibs. like people who are like Creating very big like to be pronounced uh, and Raiden fans, they're like, I, I do that. They molded stardust into flowing rivers, assigning the righteous upstream and the unjust downstream. Thus, all things were marked, and the world learned to discern between good and evil. That marked the third and fourth days. I'm gonna leave this puzzle for another time. Like, most of the puzzles for another time. We have to go back that way? No! Dream four. The gleam of old things. I wish I could pull four multiple, like, Eidolons on Firefly. I guess it just depends on how much we can save after, like, getting Topaz's Light Cone. I want to pull for Jade also, because then I would have all of the IPC characters. So I guess... Stream four. I guess we'll find out eventually. We'll see what happens, I suppose. I heard bird. I'm just gonna. We're passing by the bird. We'll get bird later. Oh, there's another chest over here. Space anchor activated. Are we supposed to go down or are we supposed to go this way? Is it this way? This is a goddamn maze if I've ever seen one, honestly. Oh, look. Another frame. Uh, okay, this is stage play act two, Ode to Fool. There's so much, I didn't realize we had so Ode much to, to do today. This must be the second act. The surroundings are different from before. The stage decorations look a bit tidier now. Behold the ensuing tale, a struggle for power. They do be putting Anakami a lot of these quests. The it's of the crazy seven how it's lineages. been like seven, seven Tree, hours probably. Grass, flower, bird, beast, fruit, and insect. Peace never truly graced land of the exiles. The history in this era is rich and intricate. The leader of the Alfalfa family sought to defect to the IPC. The voices! The voices! for survival. The voices! His eldest son slew him in the name of righteousness and ascended as the new family head. You want me to do a puzzle? Brother, I'm so fucking deep right now into story, and you want me to do a fucking puzzle? That wasn't actually that bad. Welcome to this mansion, dear. Land of the Exiles was in disarray, besieged by both internal and external perils. Though the seven major lineages appeared united on the surface, each harbored their own ambitions, leading to ceaseless conflict. Accountant, we are the Stream four. Oh my god, you hungry bitch. Fuck. The Black Plum family was the first to fall. They withered away oh, in the white desert or... I need I need a two long didn't read for all the birds. Chirp chirp! Um okay, let's 
to the swing. Look at all these relics that I will never fucking use ever. They're just gonna be trash, basically. No way, it definitely goes here, right? Oh, does it go in this one? I wanna do the the ending! Give me more! I think we're copium close. <laughs> no, we could we could only hope that we're fucking close five hours in. I know some people took like 10 hours to do this quest. Only when Gopher Wood led the family to land of the exiles and earned recognition from all five major lineages did Panacone earn its... Dear outsider, I beseech your aid in purging this mansion of the poison spread by the lurking instigators. Uh, you want us to help you? What do you need? Fuck the way that she's talking. <laughs> no. That's so funny. This is the second act. Looks like it's about Penicone's journey to becoming the land of the dreams, during which the family plays a crucial role. But this new master seems like a bad guy to me, don't you think? Perhaps this is the truth Sunday is trying to express, if you read between the lines. The Harmony changed Penicone just as the guards once did. Looks like we've gotta help those guys kneeling down over there calm down a bit. We must help them? <laughs> Artist. In the absence of my master, I am free. But without their guidance, for whom shall I sing? Uh, the decaying human heart finds rebirth with uh, only within the calmness. I shall sing for my new master, just as their noble voice was. Master! The accountant. Do you think it's accounting or accounting? I shall stand vigilant, awaiting the reward for my Loyalty. Uh, only reason, calmness, can shield. Are we just like just putting them all under calm? Master, now that you have gone, I shall wait no longer for my reward. I shall seize what is rightfully mine. The retainer. The most loyal guard among all the servants. Now, with my master banished, it's my right to assume control of his dominion. My former master has long departed, but why do I still fear the remnants of his creation? Two more to go. Master is no longer here. The advisor. I thought I'd be free, but I'm not. Now, without my master's command, I'll have to seek guidance from the blind. Master is no longer here. I must seek a new master and serve them faithfully. Last one, the butler. Shall return to my former master. Without a master, who can grant me true freedom? Mm, thyself? You, Duh. My servants have regained. This is a really cool sanity. enemy, in my opinion. He's like really good design. Feed me one and all. Your former master shall not return. It is through righteousness.
graciousness and unwavering support for one another that we shall attain true perfection. Cast aside the veils of hypocrisy and embrace one another. Get ready. Looks like another fight is about to begin. Time to go! Damn, what a banger also for a uh, an enemy fight, by the way. <laughs> Stand still. Hedge your bets. Spend freely. Free will, or was it on the still waters of oblivion? I weep for the departed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, you know, it's gonna be Agron or Adventurine's gonna have to take this guy out. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. Sure, I'll play along. Huh? Relax. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Good times. Oh, never we could have, we could have swanned there. It's fine. Time to say bye. Boom. Ah, uh, stand still. Ah, uh, yo, Agron about to fucking die. This guy's annoying. He applies too many dots onto us. Spend it's freely. I weep for the departed. I mean, he's gonna die now. This guy's annoying. He applies too many dots. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we're Alas, annoying. They remain but slaves till the very end, with the illusion of freedom. Same. Thus concludes the second act. Amidst this is how Peniconi fell under the family's control. Since the arrival of the Harmony, the land of the exiles has undergone dramatic changes. Not all of which have proven beneficial. Dang, I got no cats in the office. It sucks. This guy really loves dramatic scenes. Bet he comes from a whole lineage of stage performers. Time to go. The, the riddle bird. That's the YouTube video I need to watch, is all of the birds fucking summarized, because that, that's like the only thing I really skip is the birds. Uh, we're back in the room. Collectible. Look at this owl. Mr. Owlbird looks real fucking weird here. He looks looks really sinister in my opinion. Look at them all point to the door. They used the planetary rings to establish the law, forging a code of conduct among the masses. A grand lyre with black and white keys served as an instrument, while symbols of articulation and numerical notation took the form of musical notes. The downward flowing river became a melody, and the canon of law dictated the form. Thus, all mortals found their unique place within this symphony. That marked the fifth and sixth days. Uh, I want to get this, this chest over here really before I forget about it. Puppets. Oh, we're gonna have to come back and do these puzzles also. <sighs> I don't know, I kinda like the gumball enemies. I think they're pretty cool. One one more act until the final this act. This guy is really into these puppets. It's 
Stage play act three, ode to order. Oh, I get it now. The last scene is all about singing the praises of the order. And the atmosphere here is completely different from the previous two scenes. This I mean, yeah, is the I concluding guess. act of this play. I have showcased the past and present of Panacone, hoping that my desire for change resonates within you. And now, I shall reveal its future to you. Responsibility for the people. If the people lack we will make choices on their behalf and bear the responsibility. Without a king, who shall protect the weak and stream forth? Lean the bold place. And standing against the mighty. The way I screamed when somebody said order, he, this is, he's, he, I'm getting really upset because I don't think he's ever going to be a playable character and I'm kind of fucking sad about it because he's so fucking cool, but like, we're so deep and then this is like the end of Panacone arc. So I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to be another fucking Cocolia like, happening where Cocolia is such a cool fucking character and we're never going to get her. But then Kakolia, <laughs> I know! Kakolia, no! Everything she could have been such a cool fucking character. And so it shall continue, even after the king's departure. Stream four. For we have become kings of all things. Oh, I'm stressed. Move, dumb module. Miss Cocolia was the biggest. I bet people would have lost their mind for Cocolia. In my opinion. Stream four. But maybe not. I don't know. I feel like we need more like MILF characters, and and she would have been one of them. It's fine. The way it would have E6, dear God, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, Coca-Cola, it would have been dope. Became a bigger boss, so it makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I like kind of get it. Did you see how close to the edge we were? Actually insane. We're still waiting for Screwlum. Yo, do you think there's some people who are like saving for Screwlum? Like, because they think that he's going to be a playable character? That would actually be kind of cool though. Yeah, I really want Firefly also. Here, he, This is, I, I would love a, a very tasty Firefly also. <laughs> Let's fight this guy. Hey, aren't we supposed to kick off a short story and have a fight here just like we did in the previous act? I have been waiting, not saving, but I wanted him forever. Skrulem does like seem Perhaps like a really cool we'll character. Need to complete the story ourselves, just like we did before. So, do you think their mind needs tinkering or something? Yeah, what's up with their uh mind? Activate the clockwork. Satisfied. Farewell, former king. Unstable, general. How did it go? Bad. You can't change them? What does that mean? My apologies for my negligence. I forgot to inform you that the clock you think is terrifying? Yeah, I did, did was not like that. Long ago. Let our previous king recount it to you. Now it is time for the final fight. Prepare for battle. Looks like we'll have to fight again. Yeah, more fighting! Let's go! Give me that big shield. Yeah. 
Yo, I can't believe today was the day that I noticed Black Swan had a mole on her back. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Stand still. On the still waters of oblivion. Destiny is a <laughs> relax. Head your bets. Mm, uh -huh. we're, we're sitting, we're sitting pretty. Gosh, Adventurine like giving us a fat ass shield whenever we all is just so good, in my opinion. It was like the day before Robin came out. I think it was like 10 hours before Robin came out, and I was just like, I'm just gonna put the rest of my gems into Adventurine, because I just really wanted that. When his mind shall wane, while you shall transcend its delicate nature. Oh boy. This is the final scene. It's much more straightforward. He wants to expel the harmony and establish an empire based on the Order. The Order with a capital O. Let's go. Once this stage play concludes, it'll be time for the main event. I the desperately Charmony need Festival. him. Yeah, I, I never, I, for the longest time, I never had Japard. I still don't have Welt. Um, but I did a 10 pull on my birthday for Robin and I got, I got Jeppy then. So like, but I don't need Japard now because I have Adventure Raid. <laughs> Fine, I have a million Harmony characters also. It's time! They're rolling out the red carpet just for us. Wowee. Wowee. Just for us. One hour until the Charmony Festival. They the world with meaning, perfecting all things in the heavens and on Earth. Then... They rested from the labors of creation. Yet, all beings cried out to Enna. Under the banner of the Order, you have defined all things in the cosmos. Oh my god, that goosey mode is but so good. Goosey bless? Are but I love in your that. Hands. That's so good. Thus, on that day, there's also a hype train emo, which is like goose hitting the, the gritty. The That's a pretty dopey mode also. This grand theater looks Totally different. Is this the power of the order? Everyone, get ready. This could be a tough battle. Mom, yo, I cannot believe it's taken us a year to finally fight with mom. Or like I assume she's coming with us, but like I, you know, I don't know. How how would I know at this point? She's here. That marked the seventh day. Cheers and chants reverberate in the ears. The voices! The voices! Oh, I can't even turn my camera to... I'm freaking out. The voices! The voices! Feeling lucky. Oh my god, come on. Brother. Feeling lucky. The order is dead. <laughs> the order is dead, bro. Make a wish. Let's go, Acheron, mommy. Look, there he is. That concludes everything related to the order. What are your reflections on this? My dear guests. You're fucking crazy. That's all I get out of this. Nevertheless, this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. You've arrived at the perfect moment. The Charmony Festival is about to commence, and it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. The Order... Pro 
the orders Allow prologue me to oh boy my warmest welcome once more welcome to Penaconi theater the very core of the sweet dream the abode of the Stellaron, the grand stage of the Charmony Festival, and the very place where the future of Penaconi shall be determined through conflict. Ah, uh, um, where is the Stellaron? Why am I not seeing it? Why did you invite us to this duel? Um, just tell me where the Stellaron is. It hides behind the curtain. Or rather, it is the theater itself. Excuse me? However, if you want to see it, you must display faith equal to its immense power. True goodness can <laughs> I can't only be say that! <laughs> through faith. <laughs> the YouTube Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. <laughs> my, Especially when those my people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. <laughs> Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himeko? Oh my no goodness. No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. No, we stop. We're not going to demonetize this. People will never achieve true Chad, happiness I need my pennies. in a world like that. They would just be toys for the Eon. It seems you have misunderstood. I love how he has this piercing on his his ear Allow right me here. to clarify. It's really like edgy boy. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen eon or become one myself. My sole objective is to create a paradise free from eons, where the order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so called yeah, you paradise, tell them, Mom. you would be the one reigning supreme. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Now that our conflict has been destined, oh, I miss let's it. unveil our paths and reveal to the universe the true path. The true path. Path. However, before the prelude to the future begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. The path. Is darkness equal <gasps> Oh my god, cutscene! Are sinners equal to the righteous? <laughs> if you are born weak, which oh. god should you turn to for solace? Yo! Let's go! Uh, okay. Stop. I weep for the oh part. Okay. Agron does so much. It's actually insane. It's like, it's not even funny, Chad. It's on me. Another journey begins. Hmm. Stand still. Uh oh. Cutting the net. Um, boy. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Ill tidings manifest. Huh. Relax. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I love that Watch voice line. I'm gonna be real with you. That's half the work. You can bust any day. Destined for oblivion. How familiar. All in. All in. I weep for the departed. And this is where we're just fucking <laughs> easy. It too shall fall. Oh, phase two. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> No dirty 
Watch your head. Watch your head. Uh, I guess just regular attack. That's Stand fine. Still. You know, I know that's fine. Memories are ever beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Uh, I think we're we're pretty fucking solid. Ah. Uh. That's a wide stance, my guy. Ain't nobody gonna tip you over. <laughs> What you? <laughs> Relax. That's half the work. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Stop! Oh my God! Stop! Big drink! I hit the Big mark. drink! Ah! Um. Actually. Tell me. Say bye to breathing. Destiny isn't chosen. Uh. Stand still. Destined oh! for oblivion. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna like, think this, right? Bust, or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. There we go. That that's my boy. <laughs> One act play. I already know. Whoa, the lights just Your absolutely decision. just went off. <gasps> oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> Permit you to gaze into the sun. No, Chet, don't look at the sun. We already learned with the solar eclipse that that's bad. The almighty and powerful strings of harmony are at my disposal. The supreme tuner. No, Dad, Chet, don't look at the sun. Chet, look away. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, every time you break a layer so of an enemy toughness, you gain a certain collective shield. The the dolls are really fucking weird. Yeah, I agree. Uh, shield can take damage on behalf of all allies. The shield effect represents the amount of damage. Okay. Uh oh. Um, we're fucked. That's all that I know. <laughs> Why the fuck are we on slow? Ill tidings manifest. Good times. No time to say bye. I ain't want no slow speed. Sure, I'll play along. Let's uh stack those shields, why don't we? Free will. Just in case, you know, just just in case, just in case. I feel bad, like single hitting with Agron, but it's fine. It too shall fall. Jesus Christ, 40, 40 watts is that 400 diamond buck. Answer me this. Why could the harmony and the order merge into one? Hedge your bets. Huh? Why is Workday without guilt? Is that what that was? <laughs> Watch your head. Memories are ever changing. Yeah, sure, go for it. The water fucking pop off. Eve! No, Dirk. All in. Destiny for oblivion. Disorderly noise. Um, yeah, continue to just absolutely destroy everything. There's no way that's it. That's the that's the battle. There's no the way that's it. Come. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! Don Hug? Excuse me? The Lafu? The General is here! I am the reinforcements! Show no mercy! The Master Stroke! <laughs> Damn, that 
that's so crazy. I can't believe it didn't go to like another, uh, like wake another up. wave on those enemies. Hey, wake up! The sun's frying your butt. Excuse me? Oh, are you all right? Can you the master stroke was like the human eye is cool. I don't remember anything. Uh, why does that line sound uh, so familiar? It does. Well, doesn't ring any bells to me. Looks like your mind's still in one piece. If I'm very confused to as to what's going details, on right now. Well, that's reassuring. Does this march kind of look a little off? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, simply put, Don Hung used the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle. Okay, so... Summoned the General okay, to help us just oh, in time. Oh, so... So and he... And then we return to reality. Are you Look, sure? This is your room. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. He may go in the rest here at the lobby to I don't understand. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're all right. Come with me. <laughs> Not going to come chat with me, sleepy. Head. Shared HP. That voice. Is that Black Swan? Multiple layer toughness. This is the Reverie Dreamscape. What's going on? What's happening right now? Hey, where are you going? What do you mean where I'm going? You told me to go right here. <laughs> hey, we meet again, sleepy head. What's Miss Black Swan doing here? Nothing, Miss March. I noticed she was awake and wanted to check to see how she Shut was Shut up, doing. our mother is calling. <laughs> true. Though the strike from the general Very true. was timely, its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But luckily for them, the dreamscape she is, is my the home moment. I love Black Swan. She's so cool. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Oh, so that's what happened. Thank you, Miss Black Swan. I... Something... Something it. is fishy going After on. After all, Maybe? I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. Of course not. But... You're not planning on doing something like last time, are you? <laughs> Why would you think that? I, you I've know... I've never harbored any ill intentions. I Have you ever well, harbored any intentions at all? Around, Number one, anyway. just throw that out there, you know? You're kind of loosey-goosey. Mr. Yang are probably still busy. Let's go look for Don Hung first. Shiny Absol and go she. Let's go. Big W. Look, he's still talking to that cowboy. <laughs> to that cowboy, just some random cowboy. You're awake. How do you feel? I'm fine, well, I guess. Fork me. You must be that Stellaron they were talking about. Um. Fork, huh? I. I myself prefer spooning? <laughs> what is this? Allow me to introduce him. Oh, she to just you. came out of nowhere. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy ranger. During our pursuit of a certain person, we crossed paths and just so happened to uncover a shocking plot being concocted by Mr. Sunday. <sighs> Which is why we sought you out. To help the Astro MC will be woodier than I ever save the same. world together. Same. No need for thanks. Now, the Galaxy Rangers principle is That fight was so short. I'm I'm so confused. The boss fight, I thought it would be longer. When we fought Adventurine's boss fight, it it was so much longer than that. Wait, hold on a sec. This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the express? <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> it's uh... <sighs> Who was it again? Who was it again? Don Hum. Do you remember? Uh, don't keep me in suspense. No, that ain't it. I just can't seem to recall. 
<sighs> Weird. My neurochip hasn't registered any malfunctions. Mm. It... Hmm. I can't seem to remember either. I don't know. This is like, kind of awkward. What's, What's going, going on? on? Yeah, what is happening? <sighs> Vic, forget about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Ain't gonna stop us from piecing together the story anyhow. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it in the memory zone. Everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himigo, shall we? Yeah, where is she? She's now a minor star on Panacone, and the entire hotel's concerned about her well-being. You're right. Let's head to the lobby then. I'm so confused. I'm so. Can I talk to you Gillian? You guys go. I'm an outsider, after all. I'd rather not disrupt the long-awaited reunion. Okay. Am confused, but you know it's whatever. I guess. Now we're back in the lobby. Oh my god, the general! Oh, with the general! <laughs> so it was real. That's all right. In these times of conflict for the sake of utmost safety, it is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. Furthermore, despite the IPC's eagerness for success, it prioritizes peace above all. And the family, trapped though it may be, professes a desire for harmony. The Alliance has always won people over with reason. I firmly believe both parties can indeed put aside their differences and come to a peaceful agreement. The General possesses a deep understanding of the greater good. With the Sienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Penacone is within reach. <laughs> you flatter me. But ultimately, it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. The big hero? Sir, you're the hero. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, I do what I can. It was really nothing. Let me guess. You were thinking about me again. What the fuck is this? Ah! <laughs> if it isn't the galactic baseballer. Oh my god. A hero with unparalleled insight. Are you okay? I heard you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Yang. There's nothing wrong with her. She practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. What about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't spared. And that guy locked you both up. It's a, it's a long, long story. story, but at least Mr. Sunday took it easy on us. He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. In other words, he imprisoned us within his consciousness. Thanks to General Jing Yuan's destruction of the Harmonious Choir, we were able to escape. Uh, he used that tuning on us, too. Does that mean that we were almost imprisoned as well? I can confidently say now, he was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken us down. I am so, so I'm finger. I'm so like. Speaking of there's the a lot happening head, right now. Where is he now? Yeah, where where is he now? It's complicated, but in a nutshell, he's now the former Oak family head. The it's a good IPC line, though. It's a good him line. The key figure in the family's Penacony split. This Sadie is my exact thoughts. Okay, peace. I'm so fucking confused. He <laughs> must represent the family and answer Me. for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the order as enemies, declaring the turmoil an internal rebellion. This move effectively barred the IPC from intervening in family affairs on both moral and rational grounds. Everyone really has their own agenda after all. True. 
What's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings, after all. <sighs> Why the sigh, General? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Yes! Yeah, no, uh, more information, I guess. The, universe, the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservations... Why, of course you're welcome. They've mentioned that your team is a trusted ally of the IPC in Pentcoin, so there's no reason not to welcome you. So we're friends Besides, with the IPC now? I mean, yeah, there I guess. There can be reliable observers from the Astral Express present. I paid my taxes. So, what do you all think? <laughs> well then, we shall oblige. I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. I'm just gonna head back. I I'll just back. head back to my room and start packing. Not to worry. Himiko and Pack I what? You wear the same things. outfit every day, woman. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the Express first. The conductor is worried about us. Pom pom! It's best I go and explain the situation. Okay. Thank you. What about you, hmm? Will you join Welt and me? Um, I'll go. I have to help Marge pack with her suitcase. Something tells me I only have one real option here. <laughs> Good guess. Although I'm not too sure of the reason, the representatives from the IPC have insisted on her presence. Allow me to lead the way. Okay. The negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby. Everyone, please follow me. Which way is it? It's like down. How the fuck do I get down? I don't remember. I haven't been in this building in so long. How do I get down? There's like a elevator, right? Let me out of here. I haven't been in the lobby in fucking forever. I mean, like, we were earlier, but only with Boodil for, like, five seconds. Fast travel? Nah, I'm gonna take the elevator. I gotta get my steps in. I gotta get those steps in. No, we have to RP. How dare you not want to RP this entire situation out. Mr. Aventurine and Miss Topaz are here too. <gasps> what? Oh, and who is that over there? Wait! Hold on! The what are you talking about? Mr. Aventurine is here! It's I thought he died! Like what do you mean? He's alive! Oh my god, why do they keep. I don't understand what's going on. Topaz, I don't care about any of you! Fuck! It's been a while. My yeah! Oh my god! I would also extend my sincere thanks to you, General of the Lawfu. The presence Dream of everyone World? here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. I mean, I guess? I don't know. Oh. Looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure. Leave it to me. In summary, it's good news. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penaconi sovereignty oh. and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penaconi. I mean, like, I guess it's uh, fine. Yo, does she have a mole right there on her leg? No, that's something. That's two in one day that I've, like, clocked. All in the name of peace. That's our motto. Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest 
in the recent calamity in Penacony. Ultimately, both parties <laughs> have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration. I was just Offering looking respectfully. The, <laughs> the floor is yours Trulum, for the final hey, to Trulum. Hey, what's going Enlighten on, man? Us, please. How are you today, Organic sir? Organic life's unrelenting search to understand the realm of inner Ooh. spirituality is something I both admire and envy. Inorganic life has no mechanism to evoke dreams. But when my mechanical impulses are activated, my inspiration circuits will start to operate, and I will enter a state defined as imagination. Every time within the realm of imagination, there emerges a fire from the shadows. It is warm, bright. There's too many people I here. I ponder this flame might represent the essence of intelligence. A cluster of inspiration ignited by high temperatures. The future direction of the universe. I'm so hungry. We've been they here for well so long, lie. chat. We've been here forever. Alas, they are nothing but projections of my thought system to me. Desired, but unattainable. But after learning of Penacony's accomplishments, I have come to realize that the flame is not beyond my grasp. After deliberations with my This is where we mash the A button. This ain't no Pokemon game. We're not gonna mash the A button. And instead, assist the Intelligentsia Guild as technological consultants in the research of the Dreamscape and Memory Zone. You've still got a bit left as well. It's been five hours. What do you mean? Not only that, we've also established contact with the Garden of Recollection through the IPC. And they've pledged their support. What, for like another hour, events. maybe? Because we did what three hours? The, on the first the run. Cosmos is brightest. Probably and, another hour. Let's admit, dimmer intellects. That's crazy. Are now at their service. They said ten at the start. You're like ninety percent of the way. Yeah, we've already done like three hours so far. Th three, three to yeah, maybe. Oh boy. Uh, big, big but W for everyone. Never mind. At the end of the day, it's this only like 4 p.m. I have a meeting outcome. tomorrow at 4 p.m. I mean, like that's fine. I can no, wake I up and like take a shower and be okay. But gah! Heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for. I woke up part. at 8 p.m. today. I'm I'm and I actually trust that everyone screwed. will surely reach consensus in the upcoming negotiations. Looks like Panacone's future is decided. I'm wondering. Is there anything else the crew is concerned about? Peace is our greatest wish. Yes, absolutely. Peace <laughs> is our greatest good. wish. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. No, come back. Ah. You may now depart with peace of mind. The Alliance. 4 p.m. meeting. Your Gucci. Procedures. I like my rest. I like my my big sleep. If that's the case. It appears that we have nothing else to worry I could not get to bed until time. like 8 or 9 a.m. last like for us yesterday. It was, it was it was so hard to sleep. Sounds good to me. You two head back to the express. She just shows up out of I'll nowhere. Up and deal with the checkout procedure. She's in our walls. Also, <laughs> Miss Black Swan, you have a matter to discuss with me, yes? Mm -hmm. Nothing escapes your attention, Miss Navigator. You've been with us this whole time, huh? In any case, she and I will be waiting for you and March on the Express. Okay. Let's go. Our time on Penacony has come to a fruitful end. No! Where do you want to go Penacone's next, chat? Like, in... Here. In game. Like, where where are I we headed next? Are we going to go to, like, an IPC planet? Are we going to go to, like, a Stellaron Hunter planet? I want to go to punk lore. I want to see more silver wolf representation in this goddamn game. But that is just a me thing. Return of the Asheril Express. I'm right there with you. Yeah, I, I really want to see more punk lore. When did the Express become so lively? Yeah, right? Oh, I've never touched this ever, and it shows. Whoopsies. My bad. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't even know that this existed until like two days ago. 
this is the one that I wanted to see. Departed. No! I'm sad. I'm weeping. I'm fucking distraught. I'm weeping. Absolutely fucking weeping right now. Here, I want to take a screenshot. Absolutely fucking dead. And Locha's. Oh, he is departed. That's crazy. I recently got Locha, so... Uh, okay. Damn. Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence then. This a meeting to decide our next stop? <laughs> How we doing this? A show of hands. Hold your horses, cowboy. <laughs> it's Hold your horses, cowboy. Boot Hill, why are you still here? Black Swan, Black Swan, how come you're here? Uh, what in tarnation are you guys doing explain. here? Mr. Boot Hill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the Express for their own personal reasons. Mm, okay. As you all may know, the Astral Express never declines any passenger whose heart yearns for the distant stars. Therefore, they will be traveling with us for a while okay. until they reach their destinations. Whoa, the Express is going to be much livelier now. But, Miss Black Swan, you better not use your Memo Keeper abilities to pull any pranks. <laughs> she can prank me, Understood. it's a fine. It's okay. Miss Marge. I promise you, you'll never see me in your room while you're taking a break. What does that mean? What uh, the fuck does that don't. mean? <laughs> taking a break. Me out. Okay, we can continue our navigation meeting. Firstly, Pom Pom wishes to thank everyone. If it weren't for you all unearthing the truth about Pentaconi, Pom Pom would have never known where Mikhail and the rest had gone. Oh my God! I was just clocked. Was incredible. But I it's good. All it's a good. It's a good. It was thanks to ah, she can you. she can check on me thank anytime you, when I'm relaxing. Now then, <laughs> we come to the crux of this navigation meeting. We must decide on the Express's next stop. Let me introduce <laughs> the current options. The first choice is from Himiko, the oceanic planet of Lushaka. Okay. A planet composed entirely of water. Many aquatic races reside there. Of course, it's also the home planet of the venerable, nameless Mikhail. The second choice is the agate world Melustanin, suggested by Welt. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster and the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Today, it's celebrated as a planet of undying allure. The third choice is Edo Star, a planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. However, the distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. The last choice, courtesy of Black Swan, is the glass belt Petravia, a massive belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by the Lord Ravager Zephyro. These they're, 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 they literally just the listed like four different places. Tree. Ooh, so many options. I'm seeing stars already. Yeah, same. Next up, everyone will select the destination that they wish to visit, and then we'll put it to a vote. Um, I'll go anywhere with you, Black Mom. Swan has arranged to meet a morning actor there. I've heard they're preparing a special performance. I wouldn't mind going to enjoy the show. That type of performance isn't really my cup of tea, but... Uh, <laughs> Dad, no! I'll let you all decide. Hmm, I'm really interested to check out this troupe's performance, but it really sounds like the Edo Star is in a lot of trouble. As nameless, should we not extend a helping hand? I mean, yeah, I guess. March is right. Though the fact that the distress signals have ceased means we're probably too late. But I still think we should investigate the situation there. Okay. Three votes for the glass belt. March is Two never for right. Edo Star. Ew. Looks like we have a winner. Next stop, the glass belt, Petravia. Then this navigation meeting is adjourned. How did we win I'll that? I'll go check the warp jump coordinates. How did we win that Everyone one? Everyone can catch up on some rest in the meantime. 
When it's time to make the jump, Pom Pom will make an announcement. There's, There's no still way some time that before the jump. What should I do? I'm yeah, <laughs> I'm um how about a chat? Oh, okay. Over here. Hi. Oh, you're here. Seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole. <laughs> Really does seem somewhat there, there, There's so much happening. How about it? This journey of beautiful dreams. Was it to your liking? I mean, I guess. What a roller coaster ride. Um, it kind of left me wanting more. Seems like there's lots of loose ends. No. Yeah, there's so much many. Yeah, what the fuck happened? There's a rich scent of curiosity here. Such memories can be irresistibly captivating. So, how about you hand that small parting gift back to me? I'm quite eager to have it back. Oh yeah, it was this card. She gave this to us like a long time ago, right? Hmm. Oh? What happened? Uh, it's not this card. I I wasn't the one who broke it. What mm. happened? Never mind. I just stumbled I remember that upon so long a particularly ago. fascinating spot in your memory. Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. This farewell gift I gave you isn't really a compass from the memory zone. But an empty light an cone. Empty light cone. Remember when we entered the hotel in the dreamscape for the first time? I kind of maybe that was so long ago. A few trinkets from your companions. Their functions are similar. This way, I can always be attuned to your location, ready to assist immediately if you encounter any. So you put a tracker on us? That's crazy. But this is not its most intrinsic function. Light cones are slices of light used to encapsulate solidified phenomena. Remembrance. This empty light cone is the same. It can etch your memories in their most vivid form. And then, allow me to admire and manipulate them, turning them into unique mementos. All the world is born from the power of mind and soul, and that power is memory. To prevent ourselves from being forgotten by the world, we must make the world remember us. Or use our memories to recreate it. Life, seemingly vast, offers but a scant collection of impactful memories. Some joyful, some sorrowful, some light, some heavy. But you are different. We built different. Memory is a reflection of the future. Within that reflection, I see your unparalleled worth. You have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world. Your memory can illuminate the universe's future path. And that memory will be as scintillating as the star clusters you see in this porthole. Um, you're making me blush. Stop, stop, stop. You're making me stop, stop, stop. How? I can't stop. You stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. But do you know the deeper meaning behind it? The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Stop speaking in riddles. What do you mean? <laughs> Patience, my friend. Blush. I will reveal the answer to you, but that time is not now. Fine. Turn around and take a look at your friends. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. Revealing everything at this moment would be a bit of a buzzkill, wouldn't it? Damn, I guess. I'm looking for an opportune time. A time when you're totally at ease. 
perhaps, when the night grows hazy and you're about to drift off, would be the most opportune. How about one fine night? I will prepare the candles, oh. aromatics, and even ah. a cushy couch to create ah. a cozy dreamland ah. for ah. you. Stop. And then I will tell you the answer in the form of a little bedtime story to lull you to sleep. Stop, you, you spoil us. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Attention all passengers. Paying attention. Is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. Can we sit together? <laughs> it looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there I still would like to know what us. happened to brother and sister at Why this point. Why don't we just leave it at that for now? Ah, that's right. A small token. As a small token of compensation for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. They hold great significance to me. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. That's it? Oh. <laughs> You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? Yeah, I guess. In the year 2158 of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, the universe resumed oh, we got the, its intended the trajectory. Music happening. The kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panacone, the land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered briefly on Klopoth's anvil, before vanishing in the blink of an eye. The dead and those fated to die remain in their eternal slumber. While the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence. Cacophony. I don't even know what that means. If I'm being real, I'm, I'm, the American the education system is failing me right now. The cosmos vitality characteristic of a new era. All for the modest price of a brother and sister's mild grief. Babies are born as stars extinguish. The silver rail unfolds. The story bum, of the bum, Astral bum, Express bum, bum. comes to a close, yet it also embarks anew. Oh, Time marches okay. forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. True. Panacone, Letter of the Dreams, the end. No. Honkai Star Rail. Ooh. Lead actors, me! Lead actors, me, starring Don Hung as Don Hung. Ex we don't know as March 7. Himiko as Himiko. This is Welt's real name. Firefly as Firefly. Sam, Boot Hill as Boot Hill. Sparkle as Sparkle. Okay, okay. This is a lot. Cameo appearances, Sampo, Silverwool, Topaz, Jade, Argenti. Uh, Elio, script supervisor is Elio, excuse me. Elio is writing the script. Me, I'm saving for Elio. I want him to go meow, 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 meow. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, so aren't then, you? Okay. So then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. <laughs> okay, I'm awake. Well, let's start. <gasps> oh my God, at the we conclusion. haven't seen this in forever. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. What? But don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's what? still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. What? Next, I'll use this empty light cone that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, 
I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. What? There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. What? Are you ready for it? I guess! You remember everything. When the clock turned back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then. And then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had yes, a confrontation yes, okay, yes, with yes, a Venturine, yes. an uh -huh, IPC uh -huh, uh -huh. representative. Yes, yes, yes. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Penacone together. This bitch. Yes, yes, yes. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo yes, and yes. accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan. End of the story, Stike. There's another 30 minutes of story. What is death. happening? Even more unsettling. You soon encountered another murder. Murder, quote unquote. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme in which you were one of the pawns. Reveal the true identity of the Emanator of In the of midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an Emanator of the Nihility. Yes, yes, and okay, yes. her sword. Uh-huh, yes. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dream Flux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. As well as this the is also like brutal because it's like Firefly right the here. Stellaron and the bellboy, Misha. You split up with Sunday and Robin. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. What? Like I Finally, yes 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 the master stroke yes you I am the reinforcement victorious with the trailblaze triumphing over the order and Penacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. I'm still I'm shaking. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Penacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual. Yeah, the fuck is going on? You? Yeah, what's happening? The major flaw which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Uh, there's so many options to ask her right now. Uh, my first encounter with Misha at the hotel, I was attacked by a sparkle disguised as Sampo. Uh, the fake death of Firefly and Robin, Acheron unsheathed her sword and revealed the power of Nihility. Death is disguised as dormancy. It is true that Gallagher is a history fictionologist. But, he didn't lie in this matter. In addition, death and dormancy do arise from the same concept, don't they? This is not the fatal variable in your adventure. Take your time and think it through. Uh, I, I mean like this, I mean like the, the, the fuck? I want to hear what they all Are say. Are you suggesting that the sleeping and shapeless never bestows its gaze upon anyone, and thus no one can truly possess the power of the nihility? That's a very astute guess. But unfortunately, Acheron did progress further down the path of the nihility. Her unwavering belief in liberating the world from the grasp of paths surpasses the capabilities of ordinary humans. I'll discard that incorrect answer for you. Take, Take your, your time, time and think it through. 
What is the fatal variable? I, I, I well, just, I want to hear everything that she says. Although the of those two ladies don't align with our initial assumptions, this fact itself doesn't contradict the information we have so far. I'll go ahead and eliminate <laughs> that <laughs> She's like, are you fucking you. dumb? <laughs> sparkle. Tell me about Sparkle and Sampo. Yes, sparkle. The most enigmatic and elusive character in the entire story. But, unfortunately, she was the first to uncover the truth. And she did purposefully attack you to create confusion. And that makes By sense. the way, she left me a message to pass on to you. Always make sure you can distinguish reality from imagination. Interesting. <laughs> Is it a clue you Is may wonder? A clue, you may wonder. I'm not sure, although I'm pretty sure that the fatal variable has nothing to do with that masked fool. Hmm. Little Misha. Or should, or should we call, call him, him the, watchmaker? the Watchmaker? I mean, yeah, that was pretty crazy. He's only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacony. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the trail plays. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. Hmm. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped, trapped in the dreamscape, in dreamscape at this moment? At this very moment. What? What? Wake up, sleepyhead. Wake up! Break free from this eternal dream. Wake up! Return to the real world. Wake up! We'll find ba -da -ba -da -ba our answers make up. there. Why'd you put the keys up on the table? Ugh. Bro, what the fuck? The train is about to make the jump. Five, Ugh. four, three, two. What's happening? <sighs> Hello? <sighs> Wokage. <laughs> it was a bunch of flashes of a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. There is just a lot. Of I thought we were at the end. Ah! This way, darling. Oh shit, this is here also. Has this always been here? Not another one. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much oh boy. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. What happened? Yeah, what is happening? I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that this place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Enna's dream? Do the, you what remember is happening? Sunday's ambitious plan? Kind of! Kind of. intended to harness the power of the Stellaron, the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family You're getting members. there. I'm so lost. I'm so hungry. There's too many to women the on the screen the currently, the and they're all gapping at the same Unfortunately, time. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected the voices, by the Stellaron. The voices. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. All of this is just a dream? Did I fall asleep on the express? I'm now at the beginning of the story? I, these are all I, these are all good questions, and I'm fucking confused I don't think still. The goal of the order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's memoria into the material world. Allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. 
and that included a lot of memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality, and reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. Excuse me? This is what makes Anna's dream so powerful. What's in this happening? paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams oh, I have and the lives now. No. ever after. I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Panacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. That's crazy. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt Stressed. a sense of peculiarity when traveling. Stressed. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power. You would of the never order say that. However, I guess I never thought of that. I thought he was memories, just being a silly little guy. Now we still have a chance to turn the tide. <laughs> I thought the general was For just mortals, being a silly even little if they guy. they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. Thank you for the raid also. We're like at the very ending of the Honkai Star Rail 2.2 uh, story quest. So if you all are like, spoilers, um, Step away now, <laughs> but I appreciate the raid. It means a lot. So we lost. Didn't didn't expect it all to come back to Misha. We still have fighting chance. Did we now actually Sunday lose? Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. I'm behind in Star Rail. I appreciate the raid. I really do. It means a lot. Only the strong can gather the will and to I, I very much understand. I love you, Vito Model. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to make it happen, please, Black Oh, Squad, my goodness. Guide us to those with a strong will. No, yeah, All no, right. I totally understand, please like, raiding and me. running because the, the spoilers are, are, are deep. They're the ones who accept Anna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. We have no means to wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do this. One trick. lost in the dream. Satisfied, I can't do anything. Stream. Thank you, thank you. Satisfied. Well, there's so many monsters here. Stream four. Lean the bolt. Bro, I cannot believe we are back in. <laughs> I'm back in the. I'm back in it. Yeah. We are so lost in the sauce. It is insane. Uh, Martha, I'm back in. <laughs> I don't know which way to go, if I'm being honest. Let's do this door. This door is closed. The Dream Bubble Fountain. What's the price we have to pay? Oh boy, my, my eye itches still. 
I guess we're going this way. Did it not? It, it, which, where are we supposed to go? Where is this? Take me back. You just teleport? Yeah, I was like, I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. Bum, 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 bum. Here it is. Take me to where I need to go. Oh, we're back in the lobby. Robin! Here we are. Hello? Finally. You've arrived. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. Okay. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we going to lock it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> Then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky. So we should help them return there, right? I mean, yes, I guess. The illusion was so impossibly blissful. That I realized it was just a dream. Oh, my sweet, sweet. And this is our final Sweet home. Robin. And his dream is girl. founded upon the Harmonious Choir. Namely, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Pentacone merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, Dot, we dot, must dot. make everyone in Penacony want to wake up. Okay. Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? Um. Ba 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 ba. I'm curious too. Yeah. How are we gonna do that? Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where she was completely unguarded, guiding her to uncover the truth herself to make her regain her consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. Don Hung and Boot Hill, okay. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares? Oh my about god, some dumb it's it's so much happening! <laughs> thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the memo keepers in Penacony too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. Oh my god. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. How are you going to do if that, buddy? If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria, and the remarkable phenomenon known as synesthesia dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. A 
this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core. However, how how are we gonna do that? Those might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? <sighs> yeah, how the it looks like the Jadab kiss of allying oath will be the only solution. Okay. No. No need, no for, need for that. No need for that. Keep your wants in a lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will. <laughs> That's easy. That's easy. Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. Okay. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals, and actually, they're right. They're right. That's oh my god. Why we have a tacit understanding among us. Do you know what it is? Whoa, Back what is on. this? It's the relic I returned to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a galaxy ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Okay. Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls, countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are Galaxy Rangers coming from it's all It's a bullet, by the way. I know it's a bullet. <laughs> It Without definitely looks like a bullet. Cost, <laughs> because we abide by a common principle. The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. We've stayed silent for far too long. Now, it's time to remind all the cowards, oppressors, and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. Okay, okay. I'll uh -huh, fine tune uh -huh. the slumbering souls with the song of the harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penacony themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. Oh my god, there's so much I'm happening. Homeless. I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. This includes my brother as well. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. Your plan sounds well-conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic and romantic. The flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to, to choose, choose the, the right, right path? path. Ooh. I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path, but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end, I assume? Huh? The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> now that our roles are assigned, let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. Uh, okay, I guess we're doing this again. May I have a moment alone with you? Sure. There's one more thing I need to explain to you. Okay. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. 
just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. Whatever I'm facing, I'm prepared. This is where Firefly uncovered the truth. I guess I'm just ready for whatever's about to happen. I have faith in you. However, before we depart, there is one more thing I must tell you. Yes? There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. Who? Firefly. Oh. She awakened from the dream ahead of others, discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. Excuse As me? You know, Wait. Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death? A real death. No, it, it, bleh. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what. But our resolve should match that of that courageous Oh my lady. god. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. I've been fucking six hours into ready. Might as well go. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. Oh, I don't want to close my eyes. No. Can I open my eyes a little bit? Just a little bit? An end to... In its day. What? There's a... Bleh. I, but it, I, okay. Team must include me also. Um. Ah, Miss Stellaron. Mm. Time for us to reveal our true value to one another. Oh, we meet again. I mean, I guess I don't really need preservation and harmony. I mean, it's just whatever, I guess. I'm not gonna take any chances. Adventuring's like my best built character. Oh. How long has this reign been ongoing? If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades, or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully, we've guided those lost souls to their lives beyond. They were heroes in their time. Wait, so was the adventuring that we saw before was just a dream? Death. I mean, yeah, it was a dream, but I, I, I wish see. he was alive. The shadows on the sea have vanished. Oh, no. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear. Now we are close. I'm shaking in my boots. But it's still. They still haven't told us who this guy is either. I know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the path striders. They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. Her sword is so big, it's actually However, insane. These hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh, this is... This is a very cool sword. Yeah, it's super cool. If I can find a sick sword in... Oh my god! I'm already dead. 
one you'd actually want to buy. Yeah, if I could find yes. like any Honkai like weapon replicas in Japan, I'm buying it. I'm I'm gonna do it. We're in the this red. This is my duty as Acheron the Watcher. Acheron the Watcher. I'm guarding the path to the abyss of the Nihility, guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. But if this is what the departed ones expected, should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that oh. someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Sephiroth would be proud, long ass Some sword. Some tasks <laughs> have to be done, even if they are pointless. I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I Life be imitates art to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Life imitates art! Ah -ha -ha -ha! Insane. Do I even see them again? Yes. That is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express. Your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm. Your narrow Wait, escape is she talking to death. is she talking to Your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers? Is she talking to to and to Mikhail? The hometown to which you could never return. Yeah. For countless times. I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Mikhail? Are you still Mikhail, are you still there? Oh my god! Take my hand and come with me. We will leave this place. Oh my god, so, so, not you Mikhail, but Mikhail's partner. Long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not, as a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's the color of existence. Just, you know, a reminder, Akron's trailer was called Your Color. And it will guide you ah! the way out. By doing so, you will eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. Thank you. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Excuse me? Oh my god, stop. Red text Riding scares me. To the waking world. Stop, you're scaring me! Welcome to the horizon of existence. Fuck, we back in it. Fuck, this here we go again. This one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless. And it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Okay. Uh, we're back in it. I wish I could look up more. I can only look side to side a little bit. Always distinguish between reality and imagination. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth. May your schemes be for us. Anna's dream is too good. To the imperfect tomorrow. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Mm. Why does... Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet, but we are about to awaken from this dream, or perhaps such is the answer itself. Okay. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from awaken this dream. Awaken Panacone from this dream. Will you come with us? As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. 
So, when will people actively save themselves? The answer is when they are in desperate She looks so situations. cool. She looks so cool. Like a drowning individual in the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense Just pressure, in time. I'm stressed out, honestly. Will follow. I firmly believe that the fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks. But in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance, as for now. It is time to Why are we smiling? <laughs> I'm so confused. But as a nameless among those mortals. In this way. We back in this you will bitch. Reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. The rain is intensifying. Damn. Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few final questions. Yes. So far. You have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. It's alright, I'm taking screenshots, my bad. Might I ask if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? Ah, uh, the red text makes me so scared. If there is a vast lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality. A realm without death, where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve. You missed the other six Living hours. <laughs> Bro, it's been so long. I'm so fucking hungry. Also, I didn't eat before stream and we've been fucking here forever. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Would I wish to stay? I would never ever want to live in a dream. I mean, like, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Eh. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers. I got an audio only ad. It's almost like Akron's trying to tell me real estate. So oh my gosh, words, audio only ad? Stars, That's crazy. And ultimately, yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. Stress. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you, would still, you still embark, embark on, on this journey? journey? I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, Rendering any lofty convictions insignificant Ooh. under their imposing shadow. Then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to I got, death, I got some issues with this area. This is this is where I lost my my sweet boy Kakavasha, and now now we back in this bitch. We must pursue that primordial light. I want you to think that you exist in the nihility. And you watch over others to depart it. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task, this far, haven't I? 
even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. Well, my hardships you must have experience. In that case, allow me to do something you must do. Please, tell me... Wait, but I... What do you mean, tell the name? It's Acheron. Perhaps my existence will vanish in the next moment. Nobody will remember this conversation or your answer. But I believe that your name should be remembered. This universe will remember it as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Come here. Some things are difficult to recall, yet there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory, a creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey. The origin of the vibrant red hue in my life. And the most fervent element amidst every tempest. That's my name. What? Raiden. Ozen Mori. Wait a second! No! Wait, hold on! Confirmed? 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 Ah! That's crazy! What do you mean? What do you mean? That's crazy. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long nights. Oh, look at this I'm crazy cinematic thing of Moonhill. He's so cool. And witness many tragedies. And in the end, he will only see in black. Oh yeah, look at him. He's so fucking cool. She's so cool. They're all both really cool. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. What the actually is happening? Oh, we're falling. What you oh, must do we're, we have no emotion. Oh, then she's grabbing us. The waking world. That's where we all find our answers. What is happening? Oh my God, the family. Oh my God, we're back here again. Martha, I'm back. <laughs> Fuck. Have you broken free from the dream of order? What the fuck is going on currently? What the heck? Um, okay. Sure, I'll come. Stand still. The dice have been cast. Bust. Here we go. Yeah, indeed. Take it off. <laughs> Good times. No time to say bye. Let's, let's absolutely wipe the floor with these guys, I guess. Still waters of I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Sheesh! Damn, big number. <laughs> How can the weak be righteous? Um, can I just... Should I do the... Can I, should I just, like, play the hit? Cut in the net. Uh, I don't know what's about to happen. I'm uh, kind of scared, uh, actually. <laughs> All in. Destined for a no dirty I'll take tricks, the lead. all right. 
Um. Wake up. Wake up. Oh my god, she says wake up. That's crazy. Let's play our own melody. The alt is real good. Let the show begin. Okay, and then. <laughs> oh, okay. I have no more score points. I'm fucked. Where's Robin? I wish I had Robin. Feel free to make your case. All in. Okay. I'm gonna die. Again. All in. All in. The dice have been cast. Hell yeah, Bust. cast those dice. Or maybe I'll take it off. Bust all over Watch him. Head. Head your bets. I weep for the departed. Weep for the departed! <laughs> ah! Four hundred thousand is actually pretty. Seven thousand three hundred thirty-six notes. Oh boy, let's 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 go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Stand still. Uh, when does she hop on? Uh, boy. Another journey be gusted for oblivious. Good times. Never oh, I guess I could have trailblazed. I forget that trailblazing was like harmony right now. Behold the truth. Wake up. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. I actually don't know what the harmony does, like the alt. <laughs> sure, I'll play along. Uh it increases break effect. Oh, interesting. So like I should obviously I Maybe we could depart. use that before other things. It takes a fall. Stay by the breathing. Oh boy. Um, oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're so fucking Gucci right now. It's fine. Perfect melody has command. Recreate paradise anew. Mainly gives you backup dancers. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, we're in the middle of a battle, but we're getting a cutscene. Okay. <gasps> Hello? Music. Music? A feather? Oh my god, Robin! Coming into the Order Symphony. <gasps> Damn, she's going to our rescue! <laughs> What is happening? Click Horizon's Echo from afar to attack the enemies. Those imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Did they just oh my god, they got hit with the train? <laughs> is that you singing? That's crazy. You have heard their cry. Brother, wake up! Wake up, brother, people. please! Even so, they don't know where they should be. That's why I had to become the lone star in the sky to guide No, them. brother, you don't have to do this. That star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. Never. Absolutely fucking not. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. Good time. No. Time to say bye. Actually insane. Actually insane. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Free will or what is still waters of oblivion. Disorderly noise. Listen up. Head your bets. Uh -huh. Relax. Wake up. Never experienced solitude. 
How could we have embarked on different paths? Now, our final talk has concluded. We're so high up, it's actually insane. All the work of creation has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy. What is what in the world? Oh, he went absolutely like crack if mode. Paradise can save more people. Sever my path with your hands. The embryo of philosophy Sunday. May as well kill them all. Oh, every time you break a layer of enemies' tumultus, you'll gain a cl okay. This is a banger, also. How am I supposed to fight when this is this is happening in the background? How am I supposed to to be calm when this is all happening? I weep for the part. Oh, you can still hear it in this, also. It too shall fall. What is the song? I I don't know what it's called. I this is the first time I'm hearing it. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Robin absolutely popping off. Witness the will of the weak. Smack them with that train. I need, I need shield. I'm, I'm, I need shield. Help, help, help me, help me. <laughs> oh my god, it's happening! Oh my goodness. No time to say goodbye. I'm sorry if this is spoilers, Twitch chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much damage I want to do right now. Wake up! Wake up! By the solemn desire for order. It gets better with actual context. I think. I think so. Also, if you're coming into the fight without any context, I think. I think the same thing. Not the only choice. Have a noble soul. Don't be. Don Hung. I hit the mic. Uh, ah. Stand still. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. This is really good. Watch your this is real good. I weep for the departed. One more weep. It too shall fall. Listen up. Battle over with a regular attack from Acheron. So, why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? Yeah, why? Because someday. Oh my God, my my sweet baby girl. We will wake up from our dreams. Oh. No, don't, no. Oh, he shot no! Oh. Stop, stop. The is over. I can't. No, Robin! Robin! <laughs> no! Oh In my the first goodness. Year of the AE2158. A fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams. It soon faded in chaos and destruction. Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours. 
when a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse. A paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Oh boy. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed Who's talking? for eternal separation. And so, Is it an eons talking? succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. What? Uh, this the this cosmos is bathed insane. In Absolutely the nutty. Of a pure dawn. A tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of everything for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Oh my goodness. There's a lot happening. Dot, dot, dot. Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the Torrent Eagles, looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Penacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die. Just like people. But do you know, sister? The trustful no boy. No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise, and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet. Panacone, Land of the Dreams, the end! Oh my gosh. Honkai Star Rail, the real ending? Or is this <laughs> the real ending? Rolling credits yet again. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm very confused on, on this right here, where it says Welt Gang, and then it shows me like another name. Script supervisor Elio is real sus also, in my opinion. Saving for Elio. Saving for E6 Elio one day. In loving memory? An excavator aboard the A uh, Astro Express and a young scholar bringing with enthusiasm and curiosity. Oh boy, that's Welt's original name before he took the name Welt. But does that have anything to do with Honkai Third? Or because I know like he's in that also. For regard of the Astro Express and an outstanding gunslinger. Yes, it's an HI3 thing. That's what I thought. I've ne I've never played that game, so that I like know very little, but I know like enough to kind of get by. <laughs> Damn. 
And Mikhail, former mechanic of the Astro Express and the Watchmaker. Actually insane. The the craziest I don't think we've actually had credits like this um, for any of the other like big story pieces. Like we've had endings, but not like actual roll credits. May Journey lead us Star Wars. Oh my gosh, where are we going next? Where are we going next? Actually insane. It's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Jade! Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke <gasps> Ah! No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, my but sweet you baby also boy, to escape with the help of that night of beauty. Remember the recording you were Oh, there's a chest right there. What the fuck? <laughs> it's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Ooh. Just as I expected. I feel like we're gonna go to an IPC so planet next. To like, like, an, like we're gonna get so deep into IPC territory hearts. next. Is my <laughs> thought. I think. Why don't you take a wild guess? But we could be going to like maybe like well, all right. Stellaron Hunter all territory guess. also because Firefly. He's going to promote me. To it could go either 46. way. What Stop teasing me with this chest. Are we talking about a real bet here? I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Yeah, always. Forever. Actually insane that he I continues to bet his life. No one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Pentagoni. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. It's true. I need I need a yeah. breather after Breathe this like storyline. Thanks to you. As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound. We finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Reap, quote unquote. Oh boy. Huh? Knock, knock. Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Who's there? Who is it? Oh, Good hill. So many surprises today. Wow. Didn't expect a galaxy ranger and wanted criminal Ooh, to show up here. Oh, he does not look happy. Oh, he's wanted? One what the fuck? One managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo. I just put him to sleep. <laughs> Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. I love him. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. Hell yeah. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Yes! Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? Excuse me? The head of marketing, development, and department? Who? To be continued! Oh my goodness. And, and on the eighth day, interlude. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the upcoming installment. Oh! I'm about to bust. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Actually <sighs> insane. There's so so many things happened. So so much has gone on 
but hold on, I will, we'll, this, we might as well leave off with our, our son here. That was so good. I feel like the entire Panacone storyline has been absolutely like banger after banger after banger that I don't know how Honkai can make anything better we're only on one year of HSR, so I'm super excited to go and see everything else. That is actually insane. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. I'm not going to do anything else. This is where I'm going to stop for today. I'm going to post this up on YouTube, probably in maybe in two parts, maybe in one part. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but gosh, I guess if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and like and comment and join us on Twitch. And if you're in the Twitch chat now, holy cow, thanks for hanging out. That was actually insane. Um, I can't suggest Star Rail enough. Um, I know it's I know it's really difficult this time to like follow through with the story, but like it's real good. I honestly like this game way more than I've ever liked Genshin ever, so. Holy cow, that is actually insane chat. Look at all these notifications. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm not even gonna think about the notifications or anything like that. Sheesh, chat, what do we fucking do? What, what, what do? What did, what chat, what did you think about the, the story? Gosh, that was so good. Tell me your thoughts as I find someone to, I guess, potentially raid. See if I can find someone. Gosh, fucking Doc is in Japan, so I can't actually like read him. It's just playing the clips. That's fine. Um, ba 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 ba. Boy, actually insane. I think I think that was some that was some crazy shit. I thought it was eight point five out of ten. Eight point five is is seems kind of low. Panacone was absolutely peak. It was, it was real good. It was real good. Damn, that was so good. I'm glad we finished it today, because now I have to bust my ass to get this posted onto, like, YouTube. Uh, but that's okay. Let's see if that'll pop up. But chat, if you're not already following me on YouTube, please go and do that. Don't follow that channel, apparently. This is... It's Twitch taught. It's YouTube.com C slash BBVTuber. Not that one. This is an old one. Don't, don't follow that one. <laughs> Here, I can give you the link. Follow, follow this. Follow, follow this link. Um, gosh, maybe I won't raid anyone. I don't see anyone who's online. Everyone's either doing I'm only sleeping or whatever. Gosh, actually, actually a fucking banger. Holy cow. Ah, uh, boy. Shout out, shout out failed, my goodness. Uh, I need to eat. I have not eaten at all today. I'd give it a 9.5. It, it is so good. It was, it was kind of predictable. I did not see the false ending coming at all. I did not see the false ending coming at all. Like, not, not even one bit. Um, gosh. All right. I don't think I'm going to rate anyone. I looked at my like, following list and, like, ain't nobody online. There's, like, a couple people online, but they're all just sleeping. I'm gonna go reheat pizza and then try to get this stuff in the works for YouTube. But I appreciate you all for hanging out. It means a lot. We'll do you again soon. Probably no stream tomorrow because I have an appointment at 4 p.m. tomorrow and it's gonna be probably really stressful on me. But probably the next day after that. Probably the next day after that. Uh, but thanks for hanging out. I see you all soon. I gotta go eat. Goodbye. <laughs>